Welcome to the Desktop First Conference hosted by Embarcadero in 2021. My name is Mike Davis and I will be your guide today. This session will demonstrate a Windows desktop application showcasing our Rubicon full text search components. We built this with the Delphi 11 beta and screens are shown with permission. The plan is to have a look at the database design and then focus on the types of searches possible. We're counting on you to imagine how adding full text search to your own application would benefit your users. Some context. First, the Rubicon team would like to give credit to Devin Hickenbottom. Devin Hickenbottom wrote Rubicon for Delphi version 1.0. Yes, this was in the 1990s. Devin wrote all the core code, all of the help, most of the manual, and dozens of sample projects. He marketed Rubicon from his company, Tamarack Associates, in Palo Alto, California. Our company, Href Tools, was involved with Rubicon early on because we were using it to build the search engine for Delphi news groups. We helped Devin with e-commerce for a few years. Then in 2008, Href Tools formally took on responsibility for Rubicon maintenance. Unfortunately, there's a sad twist in this story. Devin was killed by a drunk driver in 2019 at the age of 63. We certainly miss his involvement. We're telling you this to explain why Rubicon development has been slow, but we think steady. What we have to offer now is full support for develop developers using FireDAC. We wanted to announce this in a very public way, to connect with anyone working on projects with large amounts of text that changes relatively rarely. Okay, let's jump in and talk about the data that will be searched by the sample project. We wanted to use something with a lot of text that was easy to understand and fun to explore. We chose an open source recipe database. As you can probably guess from this entity relationship diagram, we took the data, broke out the categories into a lookup table and separated the ingredients. For those of you who pay careful attention, full disclosure, only the recipe title and description will be searched. Ingredients are not included. And second disclosure, Right now, Rubicon is the most suited to situations where the index needs to be regenerated rarely, not updated minute by minute. Devin had multi-user update examples that we are working on bringing to those in the modern world of SQL with mobile devices, but we're not ready to show that today. What we can show is multilingual support, true Unicode support. Lingvo is Esperanto for human language, by the way. We use the Amazon translation service and translated the first 100 recipes from English into six other lingvos, Arabic, German, Spanish, Hungarian, Portuguese, and Russian. Hopefully this makes the showcase more fun for more people. Why Hungarian? Because that's the native tongue of our senior Rubicon developer these days. There are two steps that the Delphi coder must do to prepare a multi-table database before searching. First, create a SQL view that includes the data that we want to make searchable. The view, at a minimum, must contain a unique integer primary key field, plus all text fields to be searched. So we are combining all relevant text fields and associated them with a so-called location, identified by an integer key. Second, we use a suitable Rubicon make component to generate the index. Suitable means Use the Rubicon component matching your database components. Rubicon Bridge K is suitable for FireDAC. Hopefully, you will want to try this yourself very soon. All you need to do is go to our website, www.href.com. Go into Downloads to find Rubicon Lite. Download and install. The showcase sample will run immediately after install. This demonstration is what we are really excited to show you. This is the search experience section of the showcase. There is a lot going on. There are four modes of searching. We are in basic mode. There are prepared samples so that you do not have to type anything unless you want to. Okay, let's click the search button and see some results. 
This first sample was a search in English for four specific words. There are three matching records. Feel free to change any word to chocolate. The user interface design for search input in basic mode is thanks to Steve Skindell, an avid Delphi programmer and, as it happens, a professional magician. Steve uses Rubicon to assist with job searches in the Midwest of the U.S. Steve worked out this way of giving users a reasonable amount of power with four sets of keywords, plus the wildcard feature via the word stem checkbox, which you will see here. Steve also gives users the ability to search for a phrase if necessary. When you make your own project, you could use any way you like to prompt for the search criteria. Welcome to Search Mode 2. Here, we are showing something that Google Search does not have. Nearness. You can look for a combination of words which need to be near each other, but not necessarily directly adjacent. The nearness feature is a property on the Rubicon Search component. You can set it to any number of words. Nearness then applies to the combination of search terms. The user can even look for a phrase near another word or phrase. We'll take this opportunity to mention that this showcase uses FireDAC with SQLite. We are using SQLite because there is no DBMS installation required. However, when you write your own system, you can use Rubicon with any database system that FireDAC connects to. So, Rubicon is wide open for database platform. Yes, Interbase. Yes, Firebird. Yes, Microsoft SQL. You can check our website to see the current list of supported databases and bridges. Welcome to Advanced Mode, where the user can type in their own expression. When writing their expression, the user can use quotation marks to indicate a phrase. He or she can indicate the idea of and, and or, by using those keywords, and, and or. This is the mode that Code News Fast operates in, for those of you who use that website. When evaluating the speed of Rubicon, keep in mind that this is running on a laptop that we bought secondhand about three years ago. And more importantly, we have the overhead of running the recording software on the same system. When we are not recording, the searches come back almost instantly. And there are over 170,000 recipes in the database. In general, searches for single words with any logical operators come back just about instantly. Searches for phrases can take a few seconds. We have reached the final search mode, which lets you have some fun in Lingvos other than English. Chipotle Spice turns up in many Lingvos. Keep in mind that only the first 100 recipes were translated, so there are always more matches in English. Granola was another great multilingo word. Well, that concludes the demonstration of the search modes. Good. 
we want it to be crystal clear about who will be happiest jumping in to use Rubicon right now. You will want to consider each of the points listed on the screen. Will you be happy using FireDAC to make the index and execute the searches? Does your database have a unique integer identifier that relates to the location of the text you want searched? Does your text change rarely? A perfect example would be inventory descriptions or insurance rules. We are continually working on optimizing. Hopefully very soon, we can add more use cases, including periodic appends to the text and ongoing updates in multi-user systems. These two were not ready to present for the deadline of this conference. Okay, next point. Have you been using Delphi long enough that you can learn by reading source code? If you are very new to Delphi, let us know you're interested. We are happy to make more training materials if there's an audience. Are you using the VCL? And one last point. Right now, Rubicon only compiles to the Windows platform. The Rubicon team needs to do another round of refactoring to pull out the dependencies on Windows. Pricing. What does Rubicon cost? Our experience with software is that the real cost is in the learning curve, not the dollar cost. However, everyone still needs to know how the pricing works. Rubicon is licensed per developer with no runtime fees. This year, we are experimenting with a completely new pricing model where the cost of the software is relative to how much you earn per hour coding in Delphi. If you're selling your time at $100 an hour, well, there's no discount. Let's see what the discount is if you're earning about 73 New Zealand dollars an hour. Please note that this pricing example is only to show you how to make yourself a coupon, not to imply that anyone of any real or imagined gender orientation living in any particular region of planet Earth, should earn a particular amount per hour for coding in Delphi. To get this discount, run Showcase yourself. Navigate to the section called Pricing. We highly recommend that you click the little Go link to pop out the discount calculator. That Go link opens the web page in your desktop browser. Enter your hourly rate as converted into US dollars, in this case 50. Tell us where you Tick. Click Calculate. Aha! You would receive a discount of about $173. Scroll down when you're ready to order. Give the name of the Delphi developer, in this case, Beth Jones. Click Continue, and you will end up in HREF shop, ready to pay. Well, we've reached the end of today's show and tell. Thank you for attending this session. We hope you've been inspired to add Rubicon full text search to your own projects, now or in the near future. Please feel free to contact us for any assistance.